I'm going to open up over 100 of the new heroic chests to see if it's actually worth spending emeralds on now, and then I'll uh, let you know how I feel about it. Only, it's only game. Why you have to be mad? What is up, heroes of Dominion? My name is Charlie. This is Hero Wars Central, and if you are a Hero Wars mobile player, then you got a nice update to the quality of life of one of the oldest activities in all of Hero Wars Mobile, and that is the Heroic Chest. We've already talked about this a couple of times already, but I thought that I'd go over it a little bit, and I do want to say that it was uh, very cool of the community managers to send me over some emeralds to do a bunch of openings. I thought that I would uh, open some of them for all of you now and discuss some of the things that are about the Heroic Chest that you might not have thought of just yet. Really quickly, before we get too deep into the actual opening of things, and I will comment on things as we go, I want to talk about some of the big changes that have come to the heroic chest that makes this actually worth it. The first and foremost is the guaranteed prize every 400 chest openings. You have bad luck protection or BLPs, we might call it in, you know, Discord and Facebook and all of that. Bad luck protection guarantees a grand prize every 400 chest openings. Now, it's important to note that you can still get grand prizes in the middle there, but you're guaranteed one every 400 chests. The first grand prize is Cleaver. Does this count previous heroic chest openings before today? No. This is resetting everybody's heroic chest openings to zero, all right? So I'm gonna open one right here. This is actually my third heroic chest opening since uh, since this event or this uh, new activity went live. And uh, you can see here that I got some Mark of Soul Stones. I actually got three Soul Stones, so I ended up getting no additional resources towards the uh, to the hero. We'll talk about that in just, uh, talk about that in just a second. The other grand prizes that you can get are the much sought after skin plus all right you go to grand prizes here and you can see the rewards list first is cleaver i like to call him cleave daddy and the next are the five skin pluses that had come to us in 2022 i want to briefly discuss this just just a little bit just a little bit based on what i know talking to community managers and some uh, assumptions that i made on my own you can see here that the first Super Skin or Skin Plus, I'm going to use those interchangeably, was Lars, and then Faceless, Anvari, Amira, and Fafnir for the Winterfest skins. From this information, we know the next Skin Plus was the Mushy and Shroom skin. That came to us on January 20th of uh, 2023. So we can kind of make an estimation here that it's going to be a sixth month window between when the skin plus or super skin is available in a limited time event and when the skin will show up in this heroic chest as a grand prize okay that's not a set thing this is just a, mm, a guess okay i have it on good authority that there is a lot of discussion still being had about this about the rewards especially the uh, the grand prize rewards it may be a three to six month kind of rotation as new skins come out because we're going to have solar skins coming in the next month or so with the, the summer festival as new skins come out old skins will be added in kind of like the outland chest system with basic skins and let's say for example that you get lars here you can't get the lars skin unless you have lars summoned as a hero if you don't have the lars solar skin and you get the lars skin plus here it will give you the basic Lars solar skin. If you already have the Lars basic skin, then you'll get a skin certificate, which you can use to purchase skins for any other hero like Satori or, you know, the new hero Cascade, whenever his skins are available or what have you. Okay. So whenever you get a grand prize, just know that there are some nuances to what happens when you get it. And just because this reward list is in this order, doesn't mean that this is the order that you're going to get them in. You're guaranteed cleaver first, like I mentioned, and the first grand prize is going to be a random chance, but there is a way, there is a way to make it less random. You can see down here on the bottom right, selected faction. You can actually choose your faction. This has two functions. First of all, it will give me a higher chance to get soul stones from that faction. I have the way of mystery selected. You saw that I just got Marcus soul stones. This increases the chance of the way of mystery faction soul stones dropping by, I believe, 15%. All right, so a 15% greater chance to get a Mira and Celeste and Maya, Heidi, etc. Now, something that I want to note here is that Cascade is not here. Cascade is the new hero coming to Hero Wars Mobile in the next couple of days. Uh, he will not be added to the heroic chest for a little while. They usually wait a little while before they add them to this kind of thing, but he will be in the way of mystery. You will be able to get his soul stones out of this chest eventually, just 
not right now. The second thing that is good about selecting a faction is whenever you select a way of mystery, it will specifically give you grand prizes from heroes from the way of mystery. Amira, for example, if I was chasing the Amira skin plus and I got a super skin grand prize, then I would potentially get a higher chance of getting the Amira skin plus. So in that way, you can kind of chase specific skin pluses as well as specific hero soul stones. I'm going to leave it on the way of mystery because I, uh, I'm i feeling about it. I like the, uh, the new hero Cascade, even though he's not in here. That's all right. So now from there, you're going to have some opportunity to get some additional resources whenever you open these chests. And let's see what we're talking about here. All right. So we got all soul stones across the board with the exception of Jorgen. Now Jorgen is absolute star in my inventory already. And you can see that Ziri is getting five. Martha got five. Kirista got three, uh, you know, so on and so forth. But instead of soul stones, Jorgen got sparks of power. Now, if you have sparks of power, I'm sorry, if you have an absolute star hero, then the next resource that you get is sparks of power. If that hero, if my Jorgen had maxed sparks of power or gift of the elements, actually, then instead of sparks of power, I would get runes to level up Jorgen's glyphs. If my Jorgen had maxed out glyphs all the way around, then I would get skin stones for his main stat. It would be a strength skin stone because Jorgen is a strength hero. So in that way, if you already have an absolute star hero, you're not wasting the opening of the heroic chest on a hero that you already have you know, completely maxed out as far as six stars, you're going to get resources that you can use to level up Jorgen or any other hero. I don't have to use those sparks of power on Jorgen. I can use them anywhere, just like the runes and the skin stone. So I thought that I would open up a couple of these. I want to see what the grand prize is, the blue plus prize. I want to see what that is. So let's open up a couple of more here while we're uh, rocking and rolling. Let's see if we get anything good. Uh, looks like we got some Orion. Uh, Ryan Sparks of Power. This one should give us a, a a grand prize, a blue plus grand prize. Here it is right here. It is uh, 10 soul stones. So 10 Zisha soul stones is the grand prize. So what I want to know is a couple of things here. Can I not get Zisha regularly? I think that I can get Zisha. I wish these were in alphabetical order. They're in Okay, so you can get Zsha regularly, but these are the blue rewards. I don't know what separates the blue from the green. Maybe I didn't have Zsha summoned? No, I did. I did have Zsha summoned. In fact, I've got everybody summoned aside from Cleaver. So I'm not sure what separated that. Maybe it was the additional the additional uh, soul stones. It was a 10 piece instead of like a, a three or a five. And by the way, you will never get one soul stone anymore when you're opening these chests. It's always going to be three, five or more. So let's keep going here. Uh, oh, there we go. I just got Cleaver. Huh? I didn't even have to open 400 chests and I got Cleaver. Awesome. Well, I bet, yeah, I bet that was uh, probably planned a little bit, but uh, I, I think that Cleaver is a great tank on Hero Wars Mobile. He's got a great team in the way of chaos. Uh, I love the aesthetic behind him. I think he's very interesting. I'm very pumped to go ahead and get a grand prize during this. That's, that's really cool. That's really awesome. Huh? Very cool. <laughs> uh, okay, so uh, we're gonna back out of here and here you go. So you can see here, and this is one thing that I wanted to note is that uh, even though I did get a grand prize, I still will get a grand prize at 400 openings. All right, that's very important that it doesn't reset bad luck protection. So I could theoretically get every single skin plus between now and 400 openings. It's unlikely, but I could. All right, let's keep opening chests and see what we got here. Um, there's another one of the blue prizes. Let's see, it's 10. I'm guessing that you have a chance to get the blue prize of 10 soul stones. The gray prize, as far as rarity, is three soul stones, and the green prize is five. That kind of makes sense. My nebula, of course, is absolute star, so I get uh, sparks of power. So the, the blue prize, every 25 chest openings, is a guaranteed 10 soul stones. That's interesting. Okay, so a guaranteed 10 soul stones every uh, every 25 openings but you have a chance to get uh, 10 soul stones anytime also the sparks of power this is worth noting also the sparks of power has higher rarity as well so the uh, the lower tier the gray tier sparks of power is um whatever it was 100 and something let's see blue press blue plus prize still 
the higher tier rarity of the Sparks of Power and the Glyphs and all of that will give you more. All right, so yeah, there's a gray tier of Sparks of Power giving me 150. Got a couple of more openings here. Let's see if we can get any kind of luck. All right, so there's the violets. Okay, so the gray is three. The green rarity is five. The blue rarity is 10 soul stones. And the violet rarity is 30. Is 30 soul stones. And that's probably what I got as a guaranteed prize whenever I opened that, uh, that third set there. Or the third set of uh, 25, I should say. Let's keep going. Maybe we can get another grand prize in here. Probably not. Oh, a lot of green there. I like that. Uh, looks like we got two more openings before we're going to be done. Opening 100 chests. So far, I've gotten some good stuff. Uh, 30 Ching Mao Soul Stones. 10 Martha. 10 Ziri. Good stuff. Good stuff. And uh, do we get anything good here? Rufus. Okay. All right. Well, uh, all in all, I'm pretty excited about this. And I do like that it shows like the um, the insignia in the background. Like if I change this over to Way of Chaos, it changes the, the banners in the back. I do like that a lot. So that's pretty cool. I like how interactive all of this is. On screen now, I have a video discussing Cascade. If you haven't really thought too much about how powerful Cascade is going to be and why he's going to be a must-have hero, then I would suggest you give that video a watch. And if you're curious about the best way to recruit high-level guild members, another video on screen shows that. I love you all. Good luck in Dominion.